Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use SED or SID command in Linux Unix environment. SID command is used to filter and modify the text. SID is a stream editor used for modifying the files in Linux Unix environment. SID command is mostly used to replace the text in a file. For example, if you want to change all the occurrences of manager with director, we can do this. Let's first see the contents of the file. Now in this file, we want to replace all the manager entries with director. We can see in the result set, all the manager entries got replaced with director. So in this command, the forward slash is being used as a delimiter. So after running this command, the actual file did not get updated. The sid command only showed the updated output of the file. If you want to redirect the output, updated output to a different file, then we can use the redirect symbol, which is the greater than sign, to redirect the output to a new file. Let's redirect the output to implied to CSV. Let's cat that file. Well, original file. Let's see the original file. There's no update in the original file. To delete a particular line inside the file, we can use the D option. Like for example, in this case, we're gonna delete the second line from this file. Now we can see the second line is not appearing in the result set. To delete a range of lines, we can use the syntax like this. Here, M and N are minimum and maximum line numbers. The set command removes the lines from M to N in, in the file. For example, if you want to delete the lines ranging from 2 to 4, let's see, let's first get the line numbers. Now we want to delete uh, the lines from 2 to 4. Now see the difference. Now we can see lines 2 to 4 got removed in the result set. Now in the result set we can see the line number 1 and then starting from line number 5. Now, if you want to delete lines other than the specified range, we can use the command like previous command. Like in this case, just add an exclamation sign. Now we can see all other lines got deleted in the result set while keeping only the lines from two to four. Now, if you have an empty line in a file, let's see how we can remove that line. Let's first add a line in the file. Let's add two lines in this file. Now we have two empty lines in this file. Let's see how we can remove those empty lines. So in order to do that, we can use a command like slash dot slash comma and then file name now we can see all those extra lines got removed in the result set so same way uh, this command will not update the original file it will only give us the result set we can redirect the result set to a new file now let's see the difference So this is how we can remove all the empty lines from a file. Sometimes you have a requirement to delete the lines that end with a specified character. For example, to delete the records that end with the department number 40, we can use the command, add the department number here, add the dollar sign, slash D, close the quotes. Now in the result set, we can see 
we don't have the records that end with department number 40. So we had two records that had department number 40 in it. So in this command, the dollar sign is to indicate the end of the line. And so this is how we will delete all the lines that end with the department number 40. Same as previous example, if you want to delete all the lines containing the clerk string. So pretty much the same syntax, just add clerk string D. Now we can see the result set. It has excluded the clerk's entries in the result set. So this is how we can delete the lines that contain a specific string. Thank you for watching this video.